Welcome to the Zix TV. I am the Zix, and we're going to have a look at a Kogo set here. A big one. Kogo, number 4404. Space. With uh, 425 pieces. This is another Space Battle, so I'll call it Space Battle 2. The one I previously reviewed was Space Battle 1. So we got our big uh, X-Wing looking thing here. Starfighter. This, this thing looks big. Looks as big as a Lego Star Wars uh, Starfighter. Look how small the guy is in there. And we have our attackers. What is this? This guy's falling out of his his ship. I have no faith in these attackers. He's falling out of his ship. And it does look like he's getting hit by the laser from from this gun here, but he's behind this starfighter, not in front of it. Because He's behind this starfighter that's firing here. And this starfighter is behind this blaster cannon that's sticking out here. So he's not getting hit by a la by this laser. He's just falling out. And what is this? Is this that piece? It is. Reviewed another Kogo set that had this piece. Reviewed two Asini sets that have this piece this canopy that uh, this weird canopy that doesn't fit in with everything else and uh, look at the exhaust coming out of that the engines there the the artist who did the graphics on on this box went way overboard anyway pick this up from Amazon it's a Kogo set that builds these three starfighters here already reviewed a couple other Kogo space sets so check those out on the Zix TV and in a moment we'll, we'll check this one out and see what's going on with with this space battle and here it is. Here's our big Kogo Starfighter. And these little ones. Let's have a look at the little ones first. Get that out of the way. It's, uh, here's our little attacking Starfighter. They got some brackets in the back here and some of these uh, round bricks like old classic space. Lego space for uh, engines and there it is it, it looks unfinished you just got a tile here we got our guy in there and uh, like other Kogo minifigures uh, he's not designed to, to grab onto the pegs he sits kind of like like that I have to say the uh, the canopy helps to keep them in there. Although if you jiggle it enough, yeah, he's jiggling around and he's going to fall out eventually. But uh, under normal circumstances, if you're gentle with it, the, the canopy does help him to stay in there. He's got uh, what should be a control console on this slope, but uh, we got nothing on there. This uh, set didn't come with any stickers uh, for for anything and no printed parts, so it's, it's very plain. Here's our little attack module here. It's dippy. Got an interesting way of uh, attaching the uh, the canopy with these uh, these gray parts in the back that have a clippy clip, and then we got an axle for for a, let go of him. You're not supposed to grab onto him. You're supposed to 
got an axle that would be used to, to attach wheels for a, a car or a truck on the clippy clips so that's how our thing goes in an angle there and this piece it was used better in the previous set that, that I reviewed by Kogo in the Space Battle 1 it's on an angle here we got all this open space around him maybe it's a, an atmospheric uh, starfighter it only works in an at atmosphere well, if you go out into space you're going to want to have walls here and the other one is the exact same design so we get we get all the parts to build this thing twice got some basic uh, basic building techniques nothing nothing too special here and he's rolling around in there you know. already complained at length about this piece in, uh, in other reviews so I will put a We'll put links in the dis in the description of this video to those videos where I complain about this piece and how it doesn't fit in with anything else Lego except in the back here. That's the only Lego part of it that that fits. So I'll put links in the description in case you haven't seen those videos. I'm not going to complain about it here. It, it does help him to stay in there. Yep, he's gonna he's eventually gonna fall out if, if you wiggle it around too much it's just too bad they couldn't put some walls around him uh, to help him stay in in, in place you, you don't need that much empty space you could put some walls up here to help him stay there uh, to help him stay in the middle to help hem him in and then you, you would lift his lift his arms because he's supposed to be operating his non-existent controls there. Anyway, let's set these guys aside. These are dippy, dippy little starfighters. Not all that great. Let's move on to the main feature presentation of this uh, this set. This this giant. Starfighter here, and this this is big. This is getting to be uh, almost as big as 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 Lego does, like Star Wars stuff, like an X-wing or stuff like that, with a lot of parts going into it. It's not as good as a Lego X-wing. It's not as good as the uh, the recent X-wing from uh, the Force Awakens Lego. But it does have a lot of parts going into it. And they give us this stand, a buildable stand, to put it on. And it's uh, hinged. Let's see if I can... No, I don't know how well that... Yeah, the weight of it is just going to force it down. It's hinged. In two two separate ways so we can hinge it off like that and I just let go and it's staying miraculously anyway it doesn't really need the uh, there we go we can set it down on its base I got the wrong piece in this set this is supposed to come to a point with uh, with two uh, two of these style of pieces, I got two of the same style of piece. Instead of two that go together to to make the uh, the wing shape, the V shape of the the, and you build this contraption on top of it. It's just a basic structure structural contraption with these. Uh, hinges. These remind me of old best lock hinges. I think it's a brick high. As high as a brick. And it hinges off. It's got a bar going through there. 
and the other ones are the same. So we can hinge it off in two different ways there. Very basic build. Got the wrong piece, so that's a first for, for a Kogo set. Wrong wing piece. Should be should make a V shape or a triangle shape. I did get all the right pieces for the wings of our spaceship though, so we got we got those wings used here and underneath and on the other side we get we got the, I got the appropriate parts there. This thing is is big. It was quite a build. Um, oh, the uh, instructions were were pretty good as always in Kogo sets. I guess I should hold this up so we have something to look at while I'm talking. Um, the instructions were pretty good as in uh, all the Kogo sets I've seen so far. This is ABS plastic. This is quality stuff similar to Lego. The, uh, the gripping power of, of the pieces and we got pieces, we got bars going on to clippy clips there is, is good. And in fact in some cases I would say some of the parts are, are better have better gripping power than, than Legos do. They, they go on really tightly. Um, there's the nose of our... Looks sort of like the nose of an X-Wing. Although this is kind of scatterbrained on the top here with these, these bars going across. It's, it's built up kind of high. There you can see the under, underside and all the infrastructure that goes into that. Building on a couple of plates. We got at the back with our engines. We got these other engines here. I think there should be a brick in here to fill out this this gap here. Hopefully we can see that that there's a gap there. This round brick is just put onto a bracket. We got a piece in there that builds both ways. Um, this side of it goes on to the, the pegs on, on the round part and then the other part goes on to a bracket with the pegs sticking out so it does not have any pegs on it. It's a brick with no pegs on it. And we got, uh, let's see, how can I show this? We got, we got a little, this is hinged off on, on the edge at tip of the wing. I guess we could go like that or somewhere in between. I don't know why. We got another blaster attached to a, a bar attached to our engine there and this is this whole wing is attached on uh, clippy clips and bars can I get it to go and this one as well we got a whole bunch of individual sideways clippy clips built in there and then these, these pieces with the bars and the same for this one here there we go we got these pieces with the bars on the clippy clips so we can hinge we can pose that it can't go up but it can go down so we can pose let me grab the, the other starfighter wing make it like an X-wing sort of. The top wing is shorter than, than the bottom. Let me see if I can show this. There's the, the wings at an angle there. Lots of pretty basic building goes into this. Nothing too strenuous. 
doesn't have any Technic stuff. It's all brick built. You can lower these, but not all the way. So these are kind of sticking up a bit too far. These other wings here. Then we got these on the side that we can position. This, I think, is to cover up some uh, odd stuff in through here. To cover that up. This, this, this we got the part of a underside slope sticking out there. So I put this we can position that. Can it go up? Yeah. It's big. This is approaching the size of a, a Lego X-Wing or something. It's big. Lego sets weren't usually as weren't weren't always as as big as they are now. They've been getting bigger. Um the, the recent Lego X-Wing from The Force Awakens is, is one of the biggest and uh, they do the classic X-Wing just as big they weren't always that big in the very beginning of Lego Star Wars they were uh, medium sized they weren't, they weren't too big but they've been getting bigger the TIE Fighters have been getting bigger and bigger as, uh, as Lego starts to to, as Lego makes more uh, elaborate designs and larger sets with more and more pieces so be interesting to see where that goes or if it just plateaus and stays the way it is because uh, something as simple as, an, as a Lego X-Wing has been getting really really big with, with uh, quite a bit of building going into it like this starfighter here. We got our pilot in there and this 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 doesn't really work all that well. It, it, it's not lined up correctly to, to fit on the pegs there. And I had some problems with this coming loose from the hinge. We'll see how it hap how it behaves here. We got our pilot in there we got a uh, hinged off part, I guess that's supposed to be his control console and a chair and our pilot can't sit in his chair and there is nothing in there to uh, hold him in place so he's gonna he's, he's gonna wiggle around and be at an odd position like that because there's nothing on the sides to hold them, hold them in there. I would build up the sides around a, a two by two section for him to sit in. Build up the sides around it as it is. There it is. He's got lots of room to to wiggle around. I suppose I could attach his his. Uh, his feet to this uh, if I could get it I suppose I could attach his feet to this this bracket here maybe get him to uh, recline a bit it's coming loose well anyway it's 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 not working and this has come loose from its hinge So, let's just take him out of there. I'm finished showing the, the pilot's cabin. We'll have a closer look at him and our other minifigures in a moment. So this, this stuff is not as good as the Ossini stuff. This is an old Best Lock canopy that uh, was ripped off from Best Lock.
not as good as the way Orsini does it. We got uh, it's very very busy. We got some black, some red. I'm tempted to call the hodgepodge. I don't know I don't know why the red is there. It's just it's just weird. Lots of gray though. So I guess I guess you need to offset it with something, otherwise the whole thing would be gray. Got this strip of black here. And a tail fin at the top. And that's about it for this, this giant starfighter here. It was quite a build. We build the, the, the center part up. This is attached to it. It's attached pretty sturdily. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. And then we we build our our wings and attach them. So let's have a look at our minifigures. Here is our daring space pilot for the big starfighter. And he's a happy space pilot and he's wearing shades. It's this basic helmet here with uh, an old best lock visor that doesn't work all that great. And he's wearing shades. Seems like he should be a policeman or something. Got a decent print. And there's the body and the, the legs that are different from normal Lego minifigures. We can even pull it out. It's a bit different. You can sit like that. His arms are a bit his arms and hands are a bit different as well. I think it goes like that. And he's a happy space pilot. And we got these guys. These are our attackers. It's the same overall design, just different color. In fact, I think it's the same style of print. It looks to be the same style of print on there, just different color. We saw guys like this in the Space Battle 1. There we go. Although they didn't have shades. There we go. And our other attacker is the same guy. Hmm. <clears throat> Sorry about that. There's our minifigures. And the set came with some extra parts. What do we got here? An extra chair. <laughs> some extra grills. Extra jumper. Little pieces with clippy clips. Odd assortment of extra pieces to, to have. So, those are the minifigures in this set. All set and built. This one isn't good, as good as the um, Space Battle 1 that, that I had a look at the last time. Get in there. And that one was not as good as what it took inspiration from. But uh, maybe I was a bit too hard on the Space Battle 1. Maybe I'll have to have another look at it. Um, let's see if I can get this open without it breaking off. Chuck them in there somehow. Lots of gray in here, so... Uh, we got lots of gray pieces for uh, um, 
mock making lots of, lots of great pieces um, lots of the light gray a little bit of black some, some more black on the stand they get the wrong piece though so not as good overall it's bigger than the space battle one but the designs of the spacecraft aren't, aren't as quite as as good so maybe I was too hard on the space battle one um, it was still a f th this was still a fun build it still has interesting building techniques um, interesting pieces we get a few interesting pieces that are different that um, Lego doesn't make stuff like that interesting stuff and that's what draws me to these other brands well that's one of the things that draws me to these other brands is seeing pieces that that Lego doesn't make or pieces that Lego doesn't make anymore stuff like that and uh, so it was it, it was fun but the result it was fun to build but the result the overall result isn't quite as good as the uh, the other space battle that that I reviewed so I have to have another look at that one maybe I was too hard on it but th this is not as good it sure is big though uh, pretty good uh, pretty good uh, attempt um, effort pretty good effort from Kogo to make a, a, a decently big sized space set and we get uh, 425 pieces from Kogo pretty good effort I would say but uh, not as good as other Kogo space sets so that will about do it for this this review and uh, still a fun build it's just not as good as the other ones so I'll leave it at that that'll about do it for this review that's quite a big starfighter there it does have some good engine design on it looks looks pretty good That's it for this review. Thank you for watching.